Hey everyone, in the next couple minutes, I wanna show you how to create basic automation in Trello. You ready? Let's go. First of all, let's start by where to find Trello automation. From any Trello board in your, in your toolbar, you'll notice there's a couple buttons over here and in the top right. Um, you're gonna look for this lightning bolt that when you hover over it, it's gonna say automation. Click that and you'll see this menu pop up that shows different types of automations. You can click any of them to go into the automation portal. Second of all, you might be wondering, well, what are those different types and how do all of them work? And the way you distinguish between these different types of automations is based on when you want to trigger the automation. And you may be like, what, what does that mean? What is a trigger? Uh, well, there's different kinds of triggers and that's what puts you through this different automation. The trigger is what kicks off your automation. So what sort of initiates or starts it? It could be when a label is added to a card, you want to move it to another list. Or it could be on Mondays, you want to create a new card. Or it could be three days before the due date is due, you want to add a label and post a comment. Based on what you say, that is going to determine what your trigger is. So for instance, you can think of it as, if this happens, then this happens. And whatever your if is, that's your trigger. Trello automation is made of combining these triggers such as when a card is added to a board with actions, which is moving a card to a list, creating a checklist, adding members, um, renaming the card, any of these sort of things. And so the different types of automation are based on the triggers. Rules are focused on event-based triggers, which means when something happens inside a card when or inside of a board, such as a card is added or a checklist is created or something is checked off or a field is changed. Whereas scheduled automations happen if your trigger relates to every Monday or once a month, if you want something to happen such as create a card or create a new list, you'll use scheduled automation. Due date relates to what it sounds like, due dates. If you want an automation that happens on the day a card is due or before a card is due or even after a card is due, um, that's when you would use due date ones. And if you want manual sort of triggers, such as when you click a button, then that's when you'll use card or board buttons for cards or boards, respectively. So once you do set up an automation, you're gonna pick the type of trigger you want based on what you need. So let's say I want to do something like when a card is added to the board, I want to assign myself and set due date, a uh, due date of seven days to it. We're gonna do that right here from the rules section. If we were looking for something such as when a card, um, or sorry, if we're looking at when a card is due or next Monday we wanna create a card, we'd use these sections. But let's walk through an example of a common automation, which is something that happens when a card is added to a board. We're gonna start in the rules section because that's where that trigger lies. Click create automation and click add trigger to search for your trigger. When a card is added to the board, it's the first one right here because it's pretty common. Click this blue plus button to go ahead and add that trigger to your workflow. Next, we're gonna select all the actions we want and you can select multiple and string them all together. Um, in our case, let's go ahead and go to members and join the card, which will assign me to it. I could also have said um, that I want to add someone else. For instance, if I chose a specific username here from someone else on the board, I could do that. But I also want to assign a due date. So now let's go to dates and click set due date. And I can click now to see various options here. So I want to set it to seven days from now. So I'll click that, click this plus button, and then click here once again to add it to my workflow. And I can see all of the actions here. If I want to add more, I'll just click this add another action. And when I'm ready, I just hit save and I'll see some confetti spray across the board. And that's my automation all saved. Let's test it out. Notice I've added a card to the board and I'm assigned and the due date is set for seven days from now. Uh, this is a really basic automation, but you can see how you could use these concepts to do all sorts of amazing things. So good luck and enjoy automating in Trello.